I kind of compare the drone industry right now, kind of like what the internet was in the, the mid to late 90s. Everything was kind of like the wild, wild west, where if you can dream it, you can do it. The future of drones is huge. In the next year or two, you'll start seeing more and more packages being delivered with drones. You'll see a lot more public safety and law enforcement, fire departments using drones. You can't turn on a television channel, a show, without seeing some drone footage. What we're learning with the drone program is basically on how to become a knowledgeable pilots and also going into the different methods of application that we can use in various industries. So far, we've been exposed to inspection, we've been exposed to data collection, public safety, and also cinematography and photography. When you have a school that's providing all this equipment that you can learn on, it helps out so much. One of the things that's really important to me as president and to our campus community, the faculty and staff that I serve with as we serve our community is providing life-changing access to programs like this. We were really, really excited about the idea, especially when we learned more about all of the application to so many different disciplines and career paths. I keep telling the students there are drone jobs out there that haven't been created yet that by learning drones now, they will be better suited to move into that new space or create that new, new job that's out there. I have a science background and I would really love to see what I can do with a science degree in a drone. We have a biologist that collects uh, whale sneezes, if you can imagine, with drones. And we also have people doing inspections on towers. Anything that requires you to send a human being up a ladder or to do something dangerous, you can now do with a drone. My dad was a farm advisor for several years in Kern County. Once he retired, he got into almond consulting. When he initially asked me about looking into drones, I, I didn't know what to expect but I saw that you know that there was a lot of a potential for it if I'm able to get samples from the top of the tree that goes into the early disease detection so that's something that we haven't really known anybody to do because that's such a hard spot to get to but with drones we just might be able to do it I'm excited to continue to learn and tinker with this without being a part of this program I don't think I would have had that opportunity I'm pursuing a master's degree in photography and videography. I really like to incorporate the, the drone footage because it's a different perspective. I'd like to possibly work at a high school, bring more underserved people and communities into photography. Jay goes through and teaches the different rules and regulations with the FAA and what not to do, what to do. He really is enthusiastic about drones and getting more people involved in the drone program. Because of his drive and his passion, it energizes us as well. When they leave, regardless of what they do, regardless of where they go, um, they'll be smarter, safer, and more confident uh, in what they're, what they're doing with drones. Having a smaller program and having smaller class sizes in a community college experience has been uh, refreshing for me. We're going to start our own small business. I plan on taking this drone knowledge that I've already experienced and taken and take it to the next level. I actually decided to make my own drone company. My business will be focusing on real estate, landscaping, construction, and even weddings to get that view that you can't really get from the ground. Besides just learning how to fly, you learn how to network. You're actually taking something and turning it into a career. And it's also a unique area for partnership. So one of the areas that's been exciting to see is at Cal State University Long Beach. So they thought it would be a good collaboration for us to actually utilize our skills that we're learning to go out and help them find charts. And take data collection in order to see potential interactions between beachgoers surfers, visitors, and going out to see if we can survey and see any sharks in the area. And now we've started work with the Orange County Water District, and we started doing some inspections for them, utilizing drones. That's something that they can put on their resumes, and that's gonna set them apart and get them, a, get them a better job. Personally, I'm very proud that Fullerton College, our college, features such an innovative, cutting-edge program.
who knows what the future problems will be and like these just might be the future solutions.